Good evening, family. Good evening. I am your host, Infinite Child. And before the night ends, I have to give us this word, this quick word, and let the word quicken us. Amen. Glory be to God. The Holy Spirit will reveal the depths, the deepest parts, right? It will, uh, the word reveals Jesus himself, Lord himself. Glory be to God. You guys, if you made it home safely, glory be to God. Amen. It's crazy in all streets, all right? And course always know that this word is to encourage us to empower us to to um, magnify the father's name and to you know uh, seek his face to be encouraged always always and to be steadfast on the word right and to hope and knowing that our hope and confidence is in the father always amen and always expecting the Father to do wonderful works in your life, right? And in our lives, right? And, you know, we are new. We become new creatures in, in Christ. All things become new, right? And so that's definitely what, you know, we expect. We should expect all the good things. All good things come from the Father, the Father of lights, all good things. And we uh, abound in all good works. Amen. Always this word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. So you guys, quickly, uh, I want to read from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9. Well, we're going to start in verse 8. So feel free to seek the word yourselves. Feel free to seek the word. But family, I, it's amazing what the Father is doing and what he always does, you know. And the Father surprises us, you know, and it, it, it's just so good. He's just so good, and and he's just so good. Even when we, you know, err, you know, we fall, he picks us back up, and, you know, we continue to move forward, right? We continue, right? He gives us grace, you know. Nonetheless, you know, we don't take advantage of the Father. The Father knows our hearts, you know. He knows who's faking. He knows who's faking, Right? So, you know, there we can't get anything past the Lord, you know. God, God is all knowing. He knows all things before and after. He he just knows. And it's amazing how that is. And that gives you for me, that gives you some, you know, that makes you just tremble. You know, just your spirit just trembles. Just knowing that you can't get anything, uh, you can't get away with anything. The Father knows all things. Even your thoughts, okay? Before you even the thoughts you have, you know? It's just amazing how I, who the Father is and who he is to us, right? His children, his chosen, his witnesses, amen? And again, whatever you are, whatever you have already asked, whatever your petitions are, be expecting, be expecting. The Father is not like man, he shall not lie. The Father is faithful. Amen. He already gave it to you. It's already done. I, I be expecting, be excited. I'm excited for you guys, and you know I'm excited for myself. The Lord is doing amazing things. You know spiritually, you know um, physically, you know emotionally. All things work together for your good. You know, in 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 insert whatever. It it is for you, you know. All things work together for your good, amen. For those who love God, amen. So, family, so again, feel free to seek the word, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, starting verse 8. For now, this is for all of us, whosoever, right? Whosoever, whosoever, and you know, and Again, knowing it's not of our works, it's not what who we are, what we've done. It it's not us. It is the Father Himself because He loves us so much in the Son, His Son, what His Son done for us. Being that we are able to have connection with the Father, we are able to speak with the Father, we are able to um obtain our inheritance here on this earth. Right? We don't have to wait till we get to heaven. You know, and, and, and live life and to have it more abundantly. That must be the wind. 
But yeah, you know, all these amazing things. All, all just It's just wonderful. It's wonderful. And knowing and honestly, when you think about a family and honestly, honestly, really think about it, honestly, just knowing that everything, that all good things, all good things, knowing that it comes from the Father, but, you know, it gives, it, 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 straighten, it, it straightens us upright, our posture, just knowing that these are starting to know that these things are gifts from the Father. Father doesn't have to do anything for us. He's not obligated, okay? He doesn't have to do anything for us. But he cho he chooses to because he loves us so much. He chooses to. All things are a gift. All things are a gift. And maybe for some of us that would change our perspective, you know, we're we're not, you know, entitlement. There's no such thing for us, you know, feeling entitled or the need to have entitlement or anything like that, you know. So it gives you, you know, it, it straightens out a lot in, in your mind and, you know, and just knowing that there's no obligation. There's no obligation. And, you know, it sets you, it, it should set your mind and, you know, in that head, you know, knowing that just being great gratitude, gratitude, much gratitude, gratitude, you know, it gives you a different perspective on some things, but, you know, to each their own. But they are gifts. And so let's start Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, just a couple verses for us, again, to, to encourage, encourage us, right? Uh, for by grace, for by grace you have been saved through faith. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, least or lest anyone should boast. For we are his worksmanship, created in, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Glory be to God. So family, listen. Created beforehand, he's already ordained for us since the beginning to walk in them. All things that he's already given unto us and we receive because of his grace. All because of his grace and his love for each and every one of us. We are able to receive through faith, faith that he gives unto us. He gives all man, you know, measure of faith. He gives all man measure of faith. Right. And God, Jesus Christ is the author and begin author and finisher of our faith. All these great things, all these beautiful things, all these miracle signs and wonders, all these things. Is the gift is a gift of God and not because of us, his worksmanship, us, his children created. In Christ. If it were not for Christ, okay, come on, think about it, created in Christ for good works and for us, which God already prepared beforehand, we should walk in them. We should walk in them. Glory be to God. So family, again, receive it. Listen to what the father is saying and uh, the father who is rich in mercy because, and this is for, verse 4, because of his great love, because of his great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved and raised us up together, made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. 
So family, what are you connected to? Who are you connected to? Amen. For those who are not saved, confess, repent with their mouths, confess, confess, and believe in your heart. Know that you are blessed and be a blessing unto others. Amen. I love you off the love of Christ. Receive the word. I hope this word meets you where you are. I hope this word blesses you. I am Infinite Child. We will talk soon. Everyone have a good night. Be safe. Remember to practice cleanliness in your household and in your workspace. And as the word says, so be it unto you. Amen. The word of the Father. Amen. We'll talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.